Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com and we have another Windows 10 Redstone build to look at. This one is build 14257, just a few builds up from the previous release and the, the previous one had um, no real new major functions and neither does this one but that's what we're going to start to see now as builds become more regular so you're going to see less jumps uh, and less big features introduced, we're going to see the features introduced over a period of time. So, as I said, this one uh, here running on my Encore 8 tablet is running the new build and uh, like I said, there's no new features on this but there are some fixes uh, uh, to problems that were introduced in the last build. So, there was memory problems in the last build that stopped things like the Git client working and some other issues that's been fixed in this build. Um, the connect button now is back so you see the uh, connect button there which you use to connect to uh, wireless displays that kind of thing that was gone in the previous release and that's back F12 developer tools now work correctly in Microsoft Edge and um, they fixed an issue with start menu where um, where suggested apps were showing through when, when you had that turned off um, so and it's fixed the DPI issue as well so if you switch in between uh, 100 50, 100, 175 DPI, then that could cause a sort of garbled display. And they've also fixed a um, an issue with zip files as well. You do have to be careful though, and this is one of the reasons why you should really only install this on the on a test machine. Um, you know, the PC, the, there's a PC reset feature where if something goes wrong and you just want to put it back to its original state, you could use PC reset. Well, that doesn't work in this build or the previous build, so you've got to be careful with that. Uh, if you do that, it'll put it into an um, unstable state, Microsoft say, which means you're going to have to re reinstall Windows. So uh, you want to avoid doing that until they say that's been fixed. Um, you might see the WS Client DLL error. There's a fix for that as well on the Windows, on, uh, Windows blog. Um, the front facing camera won't work with Intel Real, Real Sense, so that means Windows Hello won't work and um, it may show it's in airplane mode down here when it's not in airplane mode when you first power the machine on and that's just due to the timing issues where the UI thinks it's in airplane mode, it isn't and then the Wi-Fi comes on although it does work and you can toggle it on and off to, uh, to fix that. So that's the only changes in this build, 14257. Um, it seems pretty stable so far. It took quite a while to, to download actually this time, but yeah, it's working fine now. And um, if you want to look back at previous releases and see some of the features introduced, you can sit on, go on our YouTube channel and you'll see uh, builds right back to the original tech preview. So thanks for watching this, this one. Hopefully future videos will have a bit more detail. Bye.